Hi friends, welcome back to the vlog. We are gonna be doing our meat birds, processing them tomorrow. I think we is like 90% me, 10% her. Yes. Possibly. Yes. I'm gonna be there and probably hold the video for him to watch mm -hmm. so he knows how to do it. And to be honest, probably for emotional support. Yes. So I've never raised anything and then killed it. I've hunted stuff, fish, like all, all these different things. They had a fair chase. He's been setting up this area for tomorrow. The meat birds are back there in their coop. We'll go show you them in just a minute. They're fasting all day today. And then at some point, are you gonna move them? Yeah, tonight, just so they don't eat any of the grass and stuff that they're on, I'll put them in the holding, yeah. holding cells. These are our meat birds. They have gotten quite large. They are, they might be a tad overweight of what I think everyone else prefers they be killed at, but they look healthy. I think it'll be great. These are the teddy bear sunflowers. They're so pretty. They're awesome. We cleaned out all the cucamelons. We left the strawberries. These are the long red noodle beans and the green noodle beans mixed in with some okra and tomatoes that we succession sowed. And we cleared out all of the red noodle beans that we already processed. So those are gone. Cucamelons are gone. We've been harvesting some potatoes. Do you want to see if this one's ready real quick? We can show them? Sure. <laughs> when the plant starts to die, some people wait a little longer. Have you just been pulling it up? Yeah. So you pull it up. There's some ants, so I'm gonna get. She's cute. Wait. You already got them all? Not all of them, but. But there's ants. I know. We'll just have to get them out of the way. See how much better. All right. This is the night before death day. So, having mixed emotions. I have decided that deferred responsibility I'm not really okay with. So, I'm gonna continue to eat meat and take advantage of other people doing things for me, like butchering and killing animals. Should probably have the experience. So, I wanna be a wise old man one day. So this is just one of many things I think required to do that so life is required for life sometimes so I'm gonna take these awesome birds and put them in these two brooding troughs that we made um, I don't have holding pins or anything like that some other people have there's like transport cages so they'll be in here with some bedding for the night and um, I feel bad. I feel like they need a last meal, like some grubs or something. It's okay. It's all right. It's crazy how calm you can get them once you have them. So how about this when they were chicks to keep rats. Another varmint's out, but I did not make two. So, that way they both get some fresh air. It's not beautiful, but that way they get fresh air. Oh, guys. I know. Oh, no. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? There's a show on Hulu called Bless This Mess, and they uh, attempt to get ready to kill chickens and then back out. She was like singing to the birds. Yeah, that will not be us. Good morning. We just got everything set up and we're about to start the process of figuring out how to process our meat birds. So it's definitely going to be a bittersweet experience. Got my pink gloves ready to go. We have been watching videos all morning to make sure we kind of know what we're doing, but it's still gonna be a learning process, probably an emotional process. Okay, when I was uh, probably 10, 11, and 12, somewhere around there, mama went off somewhere 
and I shot a chicken with a bow and arrow. Killed it. Cleaned that booger and had it cooking when Mama got back home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we used to do. So in the sun oven, what are, what are we cooking? We have chicken with um, canned tomatoes, Italian tomatoes, and then we have rice. It's equivalent to cooking it in a slow cooker, basically, when you use the sun oven. You just hook this on, and I'll let it go all day while we're processing. Sure. Upside down feet. This was pretty easy. Like to grow for the time and the investment, it's not bad. You're gonna eat the heart too? Dude. Oh. Set that to zero. There we go. It's good. Uh, let me let me reset that with the plate. Go I'm gonna say six go ahead. Point three four. Three and a half pounds. Dang what? it! <laughs> I'm probably gonna do like maybe 45 this time. Okay. Try to pull all of it out. It's really clean. We don't have to be super careful about it. Jesus, what's up? So flip it over, find that oil gland, straight down to the bone. Nice. Now, now start, start cutting. Yeah. Am I far enough down? Yeah, you're on, you're through the bone actually. Oh. So now go down. Starting to cut. And like this. The inside the chicken get the guts. Like that? Am I getting it? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Coco, you're trying to pull my Yeah. No, you're the. <laughs> you haven't touched any of it. That's perfect. Keep going. Cut it all the way out. Throw that away. No oil gland. Good Yay! Job. Now we do the neck. Now feet. You did it. Feet. Feet. So you're gonna bend, bend the feet it. and then find that little right there. You kind of see how it's smooth. Yeah. Don't. If you feel bone, Wait. you're you're cutting in bone. Am so, I in bone? Yeah. You're feeling for the. I can't tell. You're just cutting. Bone. You're trying to cut through bone. So here, let me show you. Cut. See how you're cutting this way into the bone. Cut. That way. That way. This way? Mm -hmm. Am I in bone still? Yeah, it's okay. Just Why am I still in bone? Right. Here, I'm okay. Let go that one. Sorry. Right. So Don't mess up my chin feet. <laughs> that one I did. I'll have to try again on the next one. Just cutting that little thing. That right, here? Mm -hmm. right here? Mm-hmm. Right here. Just straight down. Straight down. Yeah, see how you sawed through that bone? So that's what you oh. don't. Yeah. So you're All right, feeling. Let's try again. I don't know, guys. I don't feel anything. Yeah, you. That's the spot. That's it. Mm -hmm. It feels like a bone. Cut your cutting. There you go. See how you go cut ahead. towards the. That's perfect. See. Oh, you cut I did between. it! Yay! Okay. 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 So you're not cutting anything. Bye. What am I doing? You're pulling it out. You're pulling it off of here. It needs to be pulled out of its thing, but you have to be able to get your finger. All right. There now go. I got that mm -hmm. one. Pull it out. It's gonna rip. It's okay. There you go. Okay, so I got now that. Now this, do the same thing. Just grab it as hard as you can and just start pulling, pinching, and pulling out of the cavity. There you go, nice. There you go, that's perfect. All right, now I'll do the same thing at the bottom against itself. So like when you're, there you go. What do you mean? There you go, just detach it from the rest of the skin. Wait. There you go. Good. Got it? Good. Good. 
gizzard. Trachea. Air, tr pretty much trachea, but. Or now it, what? Is the airway or whatever. I just don't need to cut the intestines. And then cut this way. There you go. Did I cut it? No. Charlie! You're, you're just solving it. You, you gotta use some force. Can you get it, like, in between it? There you go. Go. Cut into it. Charlie, you almost had it. what if you poke it? Oh, yeah, you got it. You're fine. All right, try this. Hold that up. Flip the knife around. Nope. Hold the knife up. Flip the knife around. Punch it through there. Yep. And now, come like that. Got right. it? That's all right. Now, you're going to... Rip the, the skin? No. Oh. All right. So, see this, that little membrane right here? You want to pierce this, but because the intestines are right behind there, not forceful, very light. Very light. Did I do it? Yeah. Yep. You're good. Now, so now, widen that up to where you get your hand in. Pull down? Pull down. Like open it from left to right. Right better. That way you don't push down on the bit. There you go. Left to right. Open this way. Just tear. Nice. Good. Good? Good. More? Mm -hmm. Good. That's perfect. Now, move it back this way to where you can get your hand in, however you can do it. Now, shove your hand as far in as you can and go to the top. It'll, it'll open up as you go. Shove it in this way? Nope. Top. This way? Yep. And feel the go on the top of it and then scoop everything. Oh no. But oh, we can't always keep this guy? Yeah, it's the heart. Sorry. It's okay. Good joy. <laughs> it's not a failure. It's just a procedure. It's just how it happens. It's, well, it's, I'm a terrible surgeon. <laughs> Oh, you're not working on me, but like, I'm <laughs> proud of you for what you did. Hey. <laughs> almost Ooh, four. Almost four. Almost. It's a big one. Thank you guys for including it. It would have taken a lot longer with just us. Yeah, especially us, since I, I didn't like mean. it. We got everything cleaned up. We showered. And now we're going to go inside, have some pizza that we ordered and then finish the processing which will be bagging up everything the chickens are now in the cooler so we will be bagging them up and then putting them in the freezer we got 10 birds processed which if you do about three meals of chicken per week that'll be two and a half weeks ish of chicken for typical two-person family of course we're going to be giving some of our chickens to family and friends this time so it was a good learning experience i was actually not able to take the life of the chicken that was a little bit too much for me this time but i did try to do a lot of the processing part um it just makes you really appreciate where your food comes from and the process of raising knowing exactly what's in the meat that you're eating having pasture raised and organic meat it was a good experience and I think that we will continue to do it. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's very fresh. Hi, can I get a grande chai tea latte? Jeremiah comes and Jeremiah says there's a fight that's about to happen. You are about to fight the Babylonian army. It's the biggest, baddest army that you've ever seen in your life. Charlie and I headed out on a date day because he was going to be leaving for about a week for Missouri where an opportunity opened up that would really set us up for our future. So we were excited about that, but it was definitely going to be hard to be apart. So we wanted to soak up as much time as we could together. Good, how are you? We love going to farmers markets and shopping small, supporting local, homegrown whenever we can. And there was definitely some beautiful things from local artists out this day for us to see. <laughs> it's a video, so it's even better that you're still. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.